hello and welcome to today's class guys this is part three of formational differential equations so we are going to be studying in this part three how we can get the differential equations for trigonometric and some hyperbolic functions okay um let's begin example one obtain the differential equation corresponding to y equal to c1 sine x plus c2 cos x all right solution So, um, um, one of the most important um, prerequisites of um, ordinary differential equations is that you should have remember your calculus, mass 102, okay? So, um, remember basic derivatives. For instance, d by dx of um, sine x should give you a cos x, and d by dx of cos x should give you a negative sine x okay so this is what we need to remember all right so um we have y is equal to c1 sine x plus c2 cos x so let me just um with a memory box <laughs> then we have y prime how many times are we differentiating two times right because of the two arbitrary constants yes so y prime in this case is c1 cos x um c1 cos x then you have a uh, minus c2 sine x because whenever we differentiate a cos x we get minus sine x so our y prime prime in this case is going to be when you differentiate this one you get minus c1 sine x then you have minus c2 cos x so this is our equation one equation two and equation three okay so there's something that is very interesting about equation three and this always happens when you're solving um trigonometric types of um differential obtaining formation of differential equations you see that equation three is almost similar to equation one maybe we just need to um change something a little and what i just need to do is to factor out um the negative sign right so when you factor it out you discover now that this new modified equation three which is equation four now has equation one present in it so the conclusion is that y prime prime is equal to minus instead of me to write this whole stuff i can just call it minus y or y prime prime plus y equal to zero so this is the differential equation for um this particular system over here is that okay it's just very easy um as easy as this okay so let's look at another example Okay guys, this is example 2. We are to form the differential equation corresponding to the given family of curve. Y is equal to C1 cos omega t plus C2. Now, omega is angular frequency. So this is a differential, um, this is, sorry, um, a family of curve or an equation that have um, two arbitrary constants, C1 and C2. And we have um, another constant here, omega. Now unlike c1 and c2 omega is not an arbitrary constant this time around it is actually a defined constant we call it the angular frequency corresponding to 2 pi um 2 pi f 2 pi um, um the normal frequency so this um omega does not um determine the number of times that we are going to differentiate at all okay just see it as a defined constant it's a defined constant then c1 and c2 are the arbitrary um, constants now you will get to agree with me that as we've established before if there are two arbitrary constants we are going to differentiate two times right so that's what we're going to do now solution so y is equal to c1 cos omega t plus c2 so this is equation one so when we differentiate the first time y prime 
carefully is you have to differentiate this um, bracket first when you differentiate this bracket you get omega right so you have um and you also have to take note that you're dealing with a cos here so finally you get minus um omega c1 then sine omega t plus c2 okay so this is um equation two then when we now differentiate again for the second time of course you differentiate the bracket first and you're going to get omega you're differentiating with respect to t this time around okay so our y prime here corresponds to dy by dt okay so everything you're differentiating is with respect to t when you differentiate omega t you get omega and you differentiate this one over here it cancels out so when you differentiate these brackets over here according to chain rule um only omega emerges so that omega comes and multiplies this one over here making it omega square then um you still have your c1 and when you differentiate this sign of course it's going to be what a cos right so you just write it like this now the reason why the sign didn't change is whenever you differentiate a sign sign something you get cos something directly is that okay but the reason why the sign had to change is whenever we differentiate um um cos something we get minus sign something so please you need to review chain rule if you're still having difficulties with how we came up with these derivatives over here so um i'll still create a video in the future um, um dealing with concepts on math one and two where you learn about calculus chain rule and differentiation but i believe up to this point you know how to do all of those things so this is equation three so just like we treated in example one you discover that now exam um, equation three and equation one look similar to each other in fact if you study this term very carefully this particular place from here to here you discover that it's just like masking the term y so we can actually see that um our y prime prime is equal to minus omega square y or y prime prime plus omega square y is equal to zero so this is the differential equation for this system now this differential equation is usually a popular differential equation it's a differential equation that is governing an ideal mass spring system so perhaps maybe in another future video when i create um uh, a content on control system engineering and you get to um, see um, the differential equation for different systems like mass spring systems so this is um, our, our angular frequency frequency natural frequency of um, oscillation in the mass spring system and this kind of family of curves are the curves that represent um, the solutions of um, those systems okay so um we'll look at another example and that will be all for part three okay we have here before us example three form the differential equation from the primitive y is equal to a cosh linux plus b shine linux okay um you can see that this time around we are dealing with um hyperbolic um functions so hyperbolic functions um if you don't know about hyperbolic functions and um i might have to create a content um on hyperbolic um functions it's very very easy to understand but um let me just assume that you know or you've been introduced to hyperbolic functions in the past so we want to remind ourselves of their derivatives now when you differentiate um a cosh x for instance remember you get shine x is that okay and when you differentiate a shine x you're going to get what the cosh x now when you um differentiate uh sorry when you differentiate um a lean x i hope you know you get um one over x and when you differentiate one over x 
you're going to get um minus one over x squared okay so i want you to commit all of this to your memory okay because we are going to be using it to attack this particular problem okay so these are the secrets that will help us to solve this particular problem so just take note of it um i'm going to clear the screen now so that i can get more space um there we go so all right so let's begin so of course there are two arbitrary constants a and b right so y is given to us as um, a cos lean x plus b shine lean x so cosh and shine that's how we call them now y prime is going to be now this is chain rule okay so you need to differentiate the lean x part first so when you differentiate it you're going to get one over x so it's just as good as saying a over x then when you differentiate cosh something you're gonna get shine something which in this case is lean x so this x came by differentiating lean x over here okay so you go to this other part and you repeat the same procedure you need to differentiate this one first when you differentiate lean x you're going to get one over x times b is b over x then when you differentiate shine something you're gonna get cosh something which in this case is still lean x so this is just a short way of um going about with chain rule so now this is where there is work so just follow me carefully so y prime prime so this time around we now have um to apply product rule because you're now seeing a product okay a product so we're going to apply product rule to simplify this particular one so i hope you still remember product rule so when you identify the two functions that are multiplying each other you're going to hold one differentiate the other one and hold the other one and differentiate the other one that you held initially is that okay so let's try to follow that carefully so to differentiate this particular term using product rule i'm going to hold a over x then i'm going to differentiate shine lean x so in differentiating shine lean x remember you differentiate the lean x part first giving you one over x and you're not going to differentiate shine something giving you cosh something lean x like this so on the second hand i'll now differentiate a over x and i'm not going to hold shine lean x as it is so in differentiating a over x i'm going to get minus a over x squared why i hold shine lean x the way it is is that okay then we'll go to the b part we are going to hold b over x in holding b over x we are now going to differentiate cosh lean x so in differentiating cosh lean x you have one over x first from the lean x part then when you differentiate cosh something you get shine something all right together then you're now going to differentiate the b over x giving you minus b over x squared and you're now going to hold cosh lean x the way it is is that okay so we have our y prime prime is equal to we have a over x squared cosh lean x minus a over x squared shine lean x we now have plus b over 
x squared shine lean x and minus b over x squared cosh lean x okay so take note of this last expression on the board i am going to copy it down and um when i clear the board i'll write it anew okay um this is what we have previously from the other part of the board so let's continue now um at this point i'm going to arrange this equation carefully okay so y prime prime is equal to a over x squared cosh in x plus b over x squared shine lean x minus a over x squared now this term over here shine lean x and this term over here minus b over x squared cosh lean x okay so at this point now you might be wondering where is this actually going but don't be scared at all if you look very carefully you will see that there is actually a pattern repeating itself here now i want you to um, pause the video at this point and get back to the point where we obtained um, y prime and the expression we have for y you will discover that it's almost repeating in this first part and in this second part over here in fact this first part is actually looking like um y somehow why this second part is actually looking like uh y prime okay we just need to do some little manipulations and boom that's it so for this first part this is what i'm going to do i'm going to factor out um, one by x squared is that okay and i'm going to be left with a cosh lean x plus b shine lean x is that okay for the first part then for this second part to make it look like our y prime i'm just going to factor out minus one over x and i'm going to be left with a over x shine lean x plus b over x cosh lean x now at this point i can now change it appropriately so i'm writing my y prime prime in terms of y and y prime so i have y over x squared plus or minus uh y prime over x okay so i hope you're good with me up to this point so y prime prime is equal to y over x squared minus y prime over x so after doing this arrangement so we are just going to simplify a little and we'll get our answers okay so let me clear the board so this is what we obtained previously okay from the other part of the board so we're just going to multiply through by x squared So when I multiply through by x squared, we we'll get x squared y prime prime is equal to y minus x. I'm sorry, take note there's a y prime here. So x um, y prime. So rearranging, leaving everything on the left hand side, that's the usual convention, plus uh, x y prime and minus y equal to zero so the, this is the differential equation or let me see the ordinary differential equation okay for the primitive given by y is equal to a 
Koch Lin X Close B Shine Lin X Okay, so um thank you for watching the video up to this point. If you have any questions or any confusions, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share to your friends and you want to know that this video will be important too so in the meantime stay um tuned for the next part um thank you very much see you later